Okay, Rich, so what are we playing this week then? So today I thought we'd attempt to complete Rex for the ZX Spectrum. So this is a platform shooting game. It's one of my favourite games for the Spectrum and it's sort of an underrated game, I would say. Have you got any experience with it at all? None at all. I don't really play Spectrum stuff, do I? Yeah. Do you want to get to it then? Let's go. Right, so how to explain this then? So basically it's a platform shooter, right? The main gameplay mechanic in this is a shield that runs down. So if you press down on the joypad, then you bring up a shield which makes you invincible, but the charge is running down. There are little platforms in the game which you have to stand on and recharge the shield, right? Yeah. yeah. So you want to be turning the shield on when it's needed and turning it off when it's not needed and then recharging it effectively. Okay. Uh, the other things. So there's multiple paths in the game through the, through the stages, but mm -hmm. only one of them is the true path. You find these sort of buildings which upgrade your weapons. So if you take the correct path, you can you'll have permanent upgrades for with your weapons. If you take the wrong path, then you'll miss some of the weapons out effectively. Right. So there is one correct way to go. Okay. So you remember what I said then, yeah. yeah. So shoot this thing here first. Just keep firing. Oh, the other thing as well is you see these little balls here. They yeah. basically charge your weapons up. That's it. Then see on the top left, there's um, that tells you how many. That tells you what weapons you've collected so far, okay. which ones you've upgraded to, and as you get the balls, they sort of light up and they run down as you use ammo. Oh, so yeah. use your shield here. Use your shield. I don't need to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it one hit KO then? Yeah. You see that thing there? That's where you got to get to because that's one of your upgrades there. So Ooh, that building in the middle. You're getting shot from everywhere. Aren't I? How long does the shield last for? How do I you get see up? the 50 there, it's running down every time you get shot. 50? Oh, 30. 34, that's it. Now run down there. Oh, well, yeah, you can destroy that. You are, but you're safe there, so you don't need to be using the shield. Uh, okay. That's it. Right, so you've got double fire, so now that's there, but you don't have the, the ammo to actually power it. Right, okay. You've also got smart bombs, which are sh uh, just go down that where the arrow is now. Uh, which, the down arrow, yeah. And I would use a shield, because you might get shot by that thing on the way down. That's it. Fuck, oh, you ran out of shield. <laughs> Dropping down. You're safe up here. That's one of the checkpoint platforms. And so that's make sure it's, my shield up, has it? No, that's just a checkpoint. I'm going to use this here because you can get tons of energy Run from this it. section. So go and get... All be of careful of that dude up there as well. This uh, shield. Take that bitch. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. You get bonus points for repeatedly shooting them while they're dying. Oh, what hit me? That guy shot you. <laughs> Did I have my shield on? No, you turned it off. That's a shield charger there. Oh, that blue platform, yeah. Stand on it and watch the shield go oh, up. Oh, the so. number went up, yeah. Mm. So remember, um, you can sort of just trash mm. them with the shield if you want mm, to and then yeah. recharge it. I will. There we go. But um, the shield does power down faster when you're just ramming people with it. Oh, I turned it off and he jumped up. <laughs> Let's see if I can do all right on there. Mm. Sort of odd gameplay though, isn't it? I can't think of many other games in this sort of time with this sort of charge, shield charge, turn off, turn off. Yeah. Sort well, of it's, gameplay it's cool. mechanic. It's good for the last minute saves. Unfortunately, you're, you're probably not going to get enough time with the game to sort of get used to it that well, you know? Cause it's, it is a, an original sort of gameplay mechanic. So a little boss fight here. What the fuck is that? It's like an <laughs> American football helmet. That's a bit naughty. Give me a tiny little sight line. 20. No shield. I'm going to die in a second, aren't I? You have to die, jump motherfucker! <laughs> Why don't you jump on that platform again? Uh, or drop down? Well, that is a decent amount. Now you got multiple. That is cool. <laughs> and the more of these you get, the more of those balls appear around you as well. I think in the story, the human beings are the bad guys, isn't it? Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're like destroying the world or something. <laughs> sort of like a Nemesis the Warlock style story, really, isn't it? And actually, the company that made the, the company that published this game. They actually made a bunch of 2000 AD licensed games as well, so you sort of half wonder. Maybe there's a bit of influence there. 
You're completely surrounded by balls. Apart from now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> what a stupid weapon. <laughs> Oh, I turned it off at the wrong moment. I got my lives back though, didn't I? Yeah, you got five. There's a question mark there. Mm, it's not great a lot of the time, question mark. It's difficult to dodge. Okay. And rapid shots. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. All of the weapons in this are quite impressive yeah. for, for the system, actually. For the the There's a lot of really stuff really. going on the screen, and it's not the any slowdown. Come on. Yeah, 20 man. shield. Right, that's that code for the second level. Oh, fuck so, me sideways, really? <laughs> basically, um, after level one, it gives you a code to remember what you've basically done. It does remember how many... Um, Smart bombs you've got as well, so we start with one on the next that level. That kind of code, I think I'd try to remember exactly what the <laughs> footsie's doing at the moment. <laughs> right, so we've got to load the next level in now, so let's go for that. So, how do you do that? What? O A T. Right, so this level's a bit tougher, so I'm you want to use your shield quite fast here. What here? Yeah, yeah, go down there, shoot that thing. Six, five, four, three, two. That's your fault, that is. <laughs> yeah, well I started you off with no shield. Right. It does remember basically everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Even the amount of shield that you didn't give me. This game uses um uses the uh, manic minor style jumping as well, so you gotta look at what the animation the character's like if you want to jump as far as possible. <laughs> Best tactic to do that. Got twelve. Mm. Oh, that thing was about to open up and blast you. You've got, I want to say zero. <laughs> oh, I nearly got past it. And then jump over that. Shield one. on. Yes, Mr. Zulu. <laughs> I don't think the guys that made this actually went on to do much else as well, which is kind of a shame, really, given you know how much sort of originality is in the gameplay. I guess uh, this didn't get much fanfare from the general public. And they just sort of disappeared afterwards. Maybe they started making games for a different machine, I don't know. Turn the shield on. Yeah. Okay. Just destroy the ones on the bottom. Can move, I smart bomb, please? Fast. Smart bomb it, please. You can do because we got loads. Thank you. Thirty-four shield, twenty mm. shield. We should use that more often now, shouldn't we? Yes. Oh shit! I didn't see him there, so it's too late. Free shield. Oh god! Smart bomb it, dude. There's a checkpoint. This section's there. not dangerous, isn't it? Well, it's not that dangerous. <laughs> Just go, yeah, up, go up the fucking rampway. Oh, you could have got... Oh, there's a shield generator. Yeah, there's a shield and a... you got a life. Ball. you got a life. Take it. This section's horrible. That's okay. Just taking too many shots now. I'm going to die. you got no shield. Jump it. Just run for it. Back to the beginning of level two. What? Blast it. Oh we nearly just did it, by the way. We we're only like four screens off the end, I think. Oh, that sucks. I would like to have seen like 16 bit sequels of this game. <laughs> you know, polished up, great graphics, sort of get the shield mechanics working a little bit more polished, you know? Yeah, that'd have been cool. This bit, I'm, I ain't doing this bit without this charge anyway. Mm. I'm just getting lucky here. 
Yeah, you are. <laughs> Kapow. Caught up, haven't I? Yep. As soon as I get to the checkpoint here. If you're correct in what you're saying, the next screen is the last screen. Cool. Careful. What are you doing? Jumping into that plant. I'm wasting. It's like for once I was actually correct in my estimations. This is the last bit. It's this and the boss now. So is that the boss? <laughs> yep. Killed the squidgy thing. That's not a boss. <laughs> well, it's more like a sort of enemy that's just got to be destroyed. What's the ending like then? With the big squidgy thing destroyed. And have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Didn't know rhinoceroses like tea. Well, obviously this one does. Sort of a quirky sort of ending really, isn't it? So I mean, are we if you controlled got... by a big squidgy thing? I don't know, actually. Yeah, you... It's a good question there. Maybe it's just some kind of genetic monster created by humanity to like run this this big this big sort of corporation tower factory thing. Maybe, well, maybe you're reading too deeply into it. <laughs> Put yeah. his feet up. Wouldn't he have like hooves? I don't know. Feet. The rhinos have hooves. Yeah, they don't have feet, do they? What are they called? Do they have feet? Okay, Richard. What did you think of the game then? Well, obviously, I'm a big fan of this game. I think it's one of the best programmed games on the spectrum as well i mean the graphic graphically this is as optimized as you can get pretty much very little color clash wasn't there very action-packed game as well oh, yeah. uh, even in comparison to games on like on, on consoles a lot of time because usually with this much action on console games you'd see a lot of like sprite flicker wouldn't you yeah but on this piles and piles of bullets you know screen filling bullet weapons a lot of the time loads of enemies running around i mean obviously there is some slowdown in the game isn't there but Mine on, on on the only the busiest screens mainly mm. there's a bunch of different ideas in there so they're quite original you've got the shield mechanics which i don't remember seeing in any other game really with this sort of use a shield run it down find a charge point for it kind of yeah, thing no. especially not in the 1980s no definitely not you know uh, apart from that you've got sort of multiple routes throughout the first level you know obviously there's one correct route you get all of these weapons power ups and another element of the gameplay that sort of ahead of its time in some ways as far as i know if you shot the enemy like three times in a row it would give you a points multiplier and i don't think i've seen that in any other games from the 1980s what did you think of it then you know i enjoyed it it's yeah. um you as you said graphically that's as good as a spec you can get gameplay wise it was enjoyable i liked it when you got lots of things spawning around your yeah. points you're like oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit i'm dead you can just like turn the shield on and slam into things as well that but then your shield runs out you're like what well, that happened <laughs> Presentation wise, it was quite good. It was quite a quirky storyline involved. Yeah. They done quite well with what they had, didn't they? Yeah. And actually, if you load in the other side, it shows a little scene of him coming in on a boat and it explains the gameplay mechanics as well. So that's quite nice as well. So mm. There is a lot of little extras in this game which show that they, they polished it up more than the average Spectrum game, I would say. All right, then, Rich, what are you going to score it then? Well, this is a hard one, really, isn't it? Because I may upset some people here, but personally, I feel like the ZX Spectrum should have been discontinued in 1987, possibly, like a year earlier than this, because it's really kind of starting to show its age, isn't it, you know? It had come out in 1982, so 82 to 87 seems like a reasonable sort of lifespan to me. They should have been working on and released an amazing sort of 16-bit Spectrum, the Spectrum 2, and they should have made that and released it in around 1987, in my personal opinion, you know? So, I mean, obviously, he's pointing out there's no music in it. This is 1988 we're talking about mm. here. So, I mean, Ninja Gaiden, which we played a few weeks ago. Yeah. Amazing presentation and music and multicolour graphics. So, this was starting to show its age. And it was a real shame that they weren't ready to sort of capitalise on the success of the Spectrum and then release a successor out with like more powerful sort of hardware, no, you right. know. You are right. And release it for the £200 sort of mark. During 1988, you wanted to have a, a games console or a 16-bit computer. You wanted to be transitioning by this stage to a newer machine. But saying that, because this game is so unique and so original, I think that that is something that's really, you know, helped. 
holds it in good stead, you know. Mm. Even if you had like a one of the later machines I just talked about, it would still be worth buying this game and experiencing this game, I think, even in 1988, just because of the originality in it. Because of the reasons that I've said, I'm going to give this a four out of five, just about. And mainly because I feel like the ideas in this game rise above the average. You know, there, there's some clever ideas in here, like I said before, the shield, the uh, points multipliers and, and such like that, and the way that the weapons power up. So for that reason, I'm going to give this a four out of five. And if this game was being compared to other Spectrum games, obviously, then this would be a five out of five. Oh, without doubt. This blows all other Spectrum but, um, games out of the water. Yeah, so whilst this is amongst one of the best program Spectrum games, it's not quite at the pinnacle, because obviously R-Type came out the same year as this, and R-Type does kind of blow it away. You know, it has scrolling as well as sort of great colour use, and lots of action. So mm -hmm. whilst this is the one of the best, I have to, you know make that point that it's not quite up to the standards of our type so what are you going to score the game then right well you've it, 88 you've got bionic commando ninja gaiden kinsaden and super mario brothers 3 released yeah. in this year you've got scrolling you've got color graphics you've got music this cannot mm. compare to that just because it's got some fancy ideas with gameplay great ideas don't get me wrong but they don't for me bring it up to a four for me you've got the c64 version of bionic commando as well coming out this year yeah but that's going to be personally that. i prefer this game to commodore bionic commando so i'm going to actually score it a three but it's a high three it's not it's not enough for me to be a four but it's nowhere near average i'd say easily 3.8 3.9 i i like the gameplay a lot and that's what's dragging it into the high threes but as i said previously you've got a stacked year in 88 okay guys that's rex for this week quite an enjoyable game yeah i really like it it's one of my favorite spectrum games as i said you know mm, some fancy mechanics right yeah. in there if you liked it guys give us a like give us a comment tell us what you think about the game and subscribe to the channel we're always releasing great content like this and we will see you next week with another game guys take care see ya